Earlier today, an Abilene man accused of killing his common-law wife and infant daughter was transferred to the Taylor County Jail from the Callahan County Jail for safety reasons. And only Kate Texas was there. As you could see, Cody Dixon was escorted by deputies and placed into a patrol vehicle in handcuffs. Dixon staying silent but looking dead into the camera at one point. Tonight at the Taylor County Jail, he's in a cell by himself and on suicide watch. Documents show that Dixon used a pocket knife to kill the young mother and her baby girl. The 34-year-old confessing to those killings over the weekend. And KTEX reporter John Rapolo has the latest on this murder investigation. I think is maybe they were having a, uh, you know, an argument and it, it just went south. Many questions tonight about why. Why did 34-year-old Cody Dixon kill his wife, 22-year-old Aaliyah Hutchinson, and their nine-month-old baby girl, Aria? Before being transferred to the Taylor County Jail Monday afternoon, Dixon was forced to wear this suicide vest and put on suicide watch at the Callahan County Jail. Investigators say the couple had moved to Abilene a few months ago from Wisconsin, but things weren't going well here. He had moved from, uh, I believe, his sister mother's house to his sister's house, and it wasn't going well. The sheriff's office believes the couple was in Callahan County, possibly moving back to Wisconsin when the murders occurred. The body of Aaliyah Hutchinson was found here, right in the middle of the road on County Road 324. Area was found thrown over that deer fence. Both had multiple stab wounds. K Texas reporter Nick Bradshaw spoke with Scott Williams Saturday night. He owns the land where the child's body was found. Aaliyah was found in front of the entrance to his ranch. What happened today was beyond belief for you know anybody that anything like that could ever happen. Investigators say Dixon used a pocket knife to kill his wife and baby. After the murders, Dixon went here to this motel, just a few miles down the road. He came and sat down right here in this chair right here. Chris Whitworth says Dixon had blood on his clothes and hands and said, God made me do it. The Baird City Marshal arrived. There was a brief struggle. Dixon was taken into custody when he admitted to killing his wife and child. Basically that he couldn't believe that what he had done. John Rapolo, K Texas News. A lot of people feeling like Mr. Williams there and Dixon has been charged with two counts of capital murder. Whether he faces the death penalty is up to the district attorney. His bond set at over a million dollars.